Hello, beautiful souls, and others are actually running away from you. They are afraid because you are, even without trying, just as a result of your energy, illuminating within them aspects of their own truth that they might not be willing to fully see at this point in time. The So, what else can I channel here? Keep getting chills all over. You are in such an empowered state at this time. And what I'm really feeling from someone's guides is pride. Pride and admiration for you. For how far you've come. For how empowered you've become. I feel someone's guide saying, Don't you see how your empowerment is so powerfully impacting the people around you? And my eyes are even starting to well up with tears a little bit because I feel like this has been a really hard journey for someone listening. And they're really being guided to look back in positive reflection and just see how far they've come. They... By the way, when I say divine masculine, this could be an energy within you, divine feminine. Because you do have the essence of the divine masculine within you as well as the divine feminine. This also could be a specific external person. The... And oftentimes, that guidance or that steering effect seems to defy conscious rationality or reason. The, the, now, of course, this could apply very differently for you, depending on your circumstances, your situation. For some of you, this steering effect may have actually been to separate the two of you physically for a period of time, to allow this masculine to come into this realization to clear out this doubt mentality, and to make some kind of changes within himself. For others of you, that so-called steering effect by your guides could look very different. So again, always take these messages as they connect for you personally. I'm hearing that when the two of you do communicate or get together, it's always very happy. There may be a lot of laughter, a lot of joy, a lot of stimulating conversation. The I'm also getting there might be banter back and forth, and kind of a playful way. But that is because beneath the surface, I feel that your souls are really assisting each other in this unconditionally loving way. The the that at a higher self level. You really want what is best for each other. With the cornucopia reversed, I feel that something about your bond as well, regardless of how you've chosen to define it, in the physical world, it's really activated you both to either a new vision for yourselves or a new level of manifestation power. I feel like this has been a very spiritually activating connection for the two of you. The, the, but I do feel that there's been a lot shifting and changing in your sacral, and that it's almost like this person is triggering those parts and aspects of you that can't go with you into this brand new phase, this new level of manifesting your vision for your life with the cornucopia card just standing out here so strongly. The, the, I feel that you, Divine Feminine, have actually triggered this masculine as well. Hey, from Divine Muscular. Yes, if you believe. 